Welcome back to Soulstone Survivors, and today we will do something special. We will build Chain Lightning only. Yes, that means no other weapon at all, and we just want to see how good or how bad it is. Now, uh, one thing should be obvious. This is not how you're supposed to play the game, okay? You're supposed to take a bunch of weapons, maybe a couple of buffs, and then you just kill all the enemies. But what I want to do is only one weapon, which is the Chain Lightning. And um, there's a couple other builds that I want to do, like Chaos, like Shadow only, and things like this. But since I've seen the Chain Lightning... Ooh, that is a very interesting start. Let's go for the Critical Strike. Yeah, since I've seen the Chain Lightning, I desperately wanted to play only it. I'm always a fan of Thunder Strikes, of Chain Lightning. I, I don't know what it is, I just really enjoy them. Same reason why I was such a huge fan of the Lightning Ring in Vampire Survivors from Get Go. And you can't believe how excited I was when I finally got an evolution. Leaving a trail of fire behind you. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm gonna reroll for the chain lightning. If we don't get it, I will reset until we get it. Well, looks like I have to reset. Oh, there we go. Chain lightning. I hope this run will work out. I don't have a reroll left and we kicked it off with exposed weakness. So whenever we critically strike, we double apply the effects. So here we have confusion that increases the crit chance on enemies. And whenever we crit, oh, oh, perfect, double cast. Whenever we crit, we double apply the effect. Wait, does it actually work? I assume it does. I mean, that is already very powerful. Yeah, we definitely want to invest into that. My assumption right now is that area doesn't make any sense to pick here. I may be wrong, but if you think about it, if it's just attacking one particular enemy, then it shouldn't make sense. And by going based on that logic, I will banish area since it will banish a lot of upgrades and we can get better stuff. If, like, if that's not a thing and if you can actually get area and it would work, then I would be so sad because it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, we will take Intimidating Shout, we pretty much have to take 5 buffs. That also means we have to go for 2 bad buffs, that's sadly how it is. Uh, critical Strike, yeah sure, why not. As we know, more crit means more confusion, I, I don't know if it works that way. Like I have no idea how confusion actually works. But I assume it would apply to the enemy in stacks. Oh, uh, we have Poison, we have Leviathan, that is very good. And Duration of Intimidating Shout, we don't care about that. It's a bad one, reduces the damage of the enemies. And my current fear is that this run will take ages until we have it finished. Maybe not, who knows. We will have to take... I guess I'll take the Chaos Golem. It's a very, very bad one that doesn't really do anything. Like, he just walks around and slams at enemies that are already dead, as you've seen there. <laughs> this is like, oh yeah, why do you even exist, mister? Okay, he pushed someone away there, so that, that, that's that's good, he did something. We will have to take other spells to just fill out everything until we are full and then we can replace them with buffs. Okay, so would I want to have the area here? It also says skills. Uh, I don't know, it could be that it multi-hits, but I will go for the crit. It sounds like the perfect idea to have the, where is it, the, the exposed weakness. With a guaranteed crit, right? Increase the damage of all your skills that are instant. That should be instant. That is instant. Do I want the crit or do I want the instant? I think I want the damage rather. Given that I have a guaranteed crit on the first strike, that sounds better. Okay. As long as we have other weapons, it's not as effective since they may hit the enemies first and deal barely any damage. But uh, yeah, our chain lightning is doing well. Next up we have Piercing Shout, very good, that is our second buff that we need. That is the first buff that is also decent. We are mostly looking for, I think it's called Blood Rage, I always get the name wrong. Then we are looking for Might, uh, damage increase on physicals, that means they do a better effect. I guess we could go for that. Where is the boss by the way? Um, oh there he is, hello, how are you doing? Chain Lightning? I wonder if Chain Lightning can bounce between enemies. So for example, from boss to an enemy, to boss to an enemy. How did he die so fast there? That was not our golem, right? That golem should be way too bad for that. Interesting. 
Which is the worst one here? It's probably Poison Bolt, I would guess. Like, Poison Bolt can do a lot of damage, but it doesn't really kill individual enemies. Multicast sounds very good. Wait, what? we have so much lightning going on already. <laughs> we just started the game. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Whenever it casts off, but it's... Ah, 5.8 second cooldown. Yeah, definitely need attack speed to make this work better. But whenever it goes off, it hits so many enemies. Come on, go off. There it is. Increase your block power. No, we don't care. Banish. Crit. Yeah, sounds good. We definitely have to get rid of the other weapons. But there are only three that we have to replace, so it should be fairly simple to do that, you know. Well, saying that... Oh, we do have a second useless one. That's very good. So this is quite hilarious. Usually you want to replace those that have the least matching skill types. Because then it is more likely that something generic gets offered like all ranged ones. But uh, look at this. Electric ranged instant. This is only instant. This is only ranged. And this is only ranged. Uh, I think I will replace the fire slash. This one seems to be the most powerful. There we go. Yeah, and then I would say we replace the poison bolt. And as the last one, the golem. This is the sad part. This is the one that we really don't want to see. Uh, lethality, or should we have physical? Uh, physical could be good, but I will go for the lethality. We want to just buff up the chain lightning. The area on the buffs, those are buffs that only go a certain distance. So when you have more area, then it goes further out. Oh yeah, right, I don't have weapons anymore. This could actually get a little bit difficult, I just realized. We do need a lot more cooldown on this, otherwise this could be a problem. There's might, perfect, wow, we're doing this rather quickly, I expected this to take quite some time until we have them replaced. We might even do it before the first boss spawns. Every time you apply confusion, there's a 50% chance to applying burn. I gotta be honest, I've never seen that, so I will take it. We do have confusion with the chain lightning here. Yeah, no, that sounds okay. I don't think it's very powerful, but it's fun. Oh, attack speed and block armor. No, increase armor. There we go, it's banished. We don't care about the frequency. We don't care about the frequency. We care about the attack speed. Uh, could I please get the blood rage? Don't do this again that you don't offer it to me until the end of the game. And I never get it. 10 plus verdict. We don't need any of these. Replace. Your critical strikes have a 15% chance to apply bleed. I mean, uh, sure. Our first strike has a 100% chance to bleed, so that's not bad. Let's banish the max HP, and I kinda, hmm. Magnetic could be interesting here. I think I will go for it, usually I like to take a few of them, and there were no great offers that we had. I don't want to decrease my movement speed early on by too, too much, that I can still get around. Increase the damage of all summons, are you kidding me? Oh, Chaos Golem. Let's go for the Merciless. A little bit more crit damage will help. But it's great that our first strike will always crit and deal a ton of damage. We still kind of want to make sure that... Oh, more damage. Huh. We want to make sure that we also deal damage when it's no longer the first strike, like talking about bosses. Okay. Piercing Shout is decent. I think I might actually go for that. Yeah, let's go. Like, some of these are just amazing to buff up the chain lightning when we fight against an individual boss. 10% <coughs> more crit is, for example, one of them. Our crit right now is 40%. That is actually ridiculously high. Oh my god. Like, for this early in the game, that is not bad. But what I'm mostly looking for now is, well, the Blood Rage. But also, multicast. Perfect. And I think I will banish the expansive. Like, I might be wrong and it could have been good, but I'll just get rid of it. Then also the movement speed. Goodbye. Now, to compensate for the loss of movement speed whenever we increase our damage with the one ability, we have to make sure that I just have enough dashes ready. You know, I need to get around that I don't die. Oh, these have new indicators where they attack. I like that a lot. And right now the summon is taking all the attention from the enemies. That is decent. I might actually want to keep... No, 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 we will not keep him. I think a game mode that would be great for this game is just one weapon and... Oh, Bloodlust, perfect. And you choose it from get-go. I think there could be a lot of fun where you just try out how bonkers you can go with certain weapons. Maybe there should still be a chance to replace them. That a the player has a choice to, for example, kick it off with a farming weapon. And then they switch over to the one that I actually want to have. Wait, how much damage do we do? 44.4k. And... Oh, there was nothing. 
Was it a golem or was it really the lightning? Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Oh, increased potency on buffs. Very good, given how many buffs we have. <laughs> this is a nice one. But we mostly care about potency on this one. 29% attack speed. That is a lot, you know. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this could be a problem with bosses. I definitely need more of something. Fragility? That's not very long. Let's go for the piercing shout. The piercing shout is the one that removes armor from the enemy. Ah, uh, okay. I will. I might regret that I banished the movement speed looking at this. But this will be ridiculous. I will just be so super slow that I can't do anything. Increased potency of the bloodlust. Very good. Bloodlust also gives us movement speed. So the one thing that I'm missing right now mostly. Or where well, I wish I kind of had more but I banished it. Okay, what do you have up there? Bleeding? You have the doubling of the effects, you have the burn. Interesting, okay. Damage increase, very good. We have to bump that up by quite a lot. In general, I need more damage upgrades, but I kind of hope the weapon would perform a little bit better, you know? <laughs> it's like, um, yeah. But it turns out a weapon that just attacks everyone is not good at killing a single enemy dex. Good job there. Frequency. Almost, no, 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 frequency. So right now we have a 20 second cooldown on Bloodlust. And the duration is 10 seconds. It should actually buff itself, right? Huh. Okay, there we go. The boss is finally dead. We got everything. More damage? Sounds very good. I don't think fragility is worth it. Because the weapon attacks so rarely that it doesn't really benefit us. Like, it would be there for one single strike. That's it. Oh, piercing shout is actually quite good. It'll mm, crit frequency. Both of these are fine. I think I will go for yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's just let's just go for potency. Ninety-seven armor is removed. That was just seventy-five before we got that. That is a big difference. It helps dealing with the big ogres here as well. They are the ones that currently survive while the rest gets nuked. Like you see that how he has still HP left over. We need to make sure that we deal enough damage or lower the defense to a degree that we can one-shot them. Frequency of might. Okay, like this is this is ridiculous. Um, I think I will just go for the multicast. If I just keep buffing up the buffs, then <laughs> this is not a game about the chain lightning. Then it would be a game about the buffs. And this game is about the chain lightning only. Yeah, this game is about the chain lightning only. Do you see it, my friend? Okay. I mean, frequency, duration, I think I will go for frequency, that sounds better. Oh, that was a ginormous decrease. Oh my god. 10% duration doesn't even really sound worth it. Like, you can just decrease the cooldown like crazy. And with the attack speed buff from Bloodlust, it's at 5.5 seconds cooldown. Wow. Without it, it's 7.4. Yeah, and it looks like Bloodlust doesn't affect itself, so it's always 10 and 20. Interesting. Okay, there's the boss. How are we doing? 89.6. There's no way we just did 167 damage. I don't believe you. What? Okay, I guess we will go for Venomous. Okay. Wait, how is it even possible that we did such a small amount of damage? Wait, what? No, I don't have another weapon, right? Yeah, I don't have anything else. Because that first strike should have been the crit that deals so much damage. And something must have hit the boss. Oh, does the chain lightning lose damage? It doesn't say anything. But maybe it loses damage with every jump that it does. And then it was the last strike that hit the boss. But it doesn't read that. I don't like it when weapons don't explain fully what they do. Like, it's such a simple detail that is actually quite important, right? Uh, frequency, I mean, sure. We're not getting any attack speed here, sadly. I, I'm not saying it's the case that it loses damage with every jump, but th there must be a reason why we have no other weapon than the Chain Lightning, and we did 167 damage. Maybe I also saw his HP wrong when he started and there was a lot more damage, but I don't think so. Oh my god, there's so much experience whenever it strikes. More multicast, perfect. There we go. Okay. Wait, no, but that also can't be the case. I thought maybe something got applied to him before the strike, the, the chain lightning hit him, but that doesn't make any sense. Everything happens the moment he gets struck, so yeah, I don't know. And we have more multicast. I honestly won't care about the buffs anymore. If I get Blood Rage, I will definitely upgrade it, but aside from this, I will take the other upgrades, even if they are relatively bad. 
that our chain lightning has a little bit more attack speed, you know. We are still only at 4.7 seconds of cooldown. That is a very long time. And while multicast is great, it only happens whenever we cast, which doesn't make too much sense, right? Increase the damage of electric. I will actually go for the attack speed here, yeah. Wait, what? 3. Oh, because of the bloodlust, right? 3.3 seconds. Yeah, now it's a 4.4. Well, that's still a very decent increase. No, but the problem with Bloodlust is, like, when it already casts, then it casts again, so you just wipe out everything, but the cooldown is still 4.4 seconds, whether you multi-strike or not. Okay, I need a little bit of healing. Uh, can you actually go off? Thank you, there we go. Okay, this is, um, this is getting quite spicy here. You're already there! We just killed the other one, what? Uh, okay, let's go, Mr. Lightning. More damage, more frequency, I think I will go for more damage in general. Yeah, there we go, very nice. Oh my god, okay, this boy is quite tanky. Will this be a problem? I don't think so, as long as I can dash. Um, no, it's looking... <gasps> oh, 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 that nearly hit me, that could have been really bad. I think it actually did hit me. Uh, can you go off and please kill the healing? No, you can't, okay, it's, it's fine. I, I didn't want it either way. Yeah, this Ice Boy is, is not a lot of fun. Look at all the stuff that he puts on the map. It's really hard to dodge. Like, we are clearing a ton of enemies, as you can see. And funny enough, we might even spawn the second boss. Oh my god. But, but yeah, we might even spawn the second boss, like the next boss, before we kill this one here. It's not likely, but it just depends on the hits that we do. Okay, uh, um, 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 that is a very bad situation. I don't know how much damage the ice field does that is down there, but I also don't really want to find it out, you know? Yeah, 75k... Hmm... I mean, it does take a lot of damage. And I guess the multicast is really good against bosses, since you can pretty much guarantee that one of the casts will hit the boss, since everything else already died, you know? And we are 2.3 enemies killed. No, 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 he will die before the next boss spawns. Jesus Christ, how much multicast do we have? Wait, did I actually select it? Yeah, there we go. Uh, 56%, and that is without the electric multicast, like, just for electric types, and for the chain lightning, right? That is just on top of that, or multiplied with it. That means we... Yeah, there's a multicast. I just saw two of them. We should be able to get way more than just two. Like, right, come on, show me what you can do. Hello? Are you doing anything? Don't tell me you're always only doing two. Wait, what? With the amount of multicast that we have... There should be way more than two. Like, sure, sometimes it can be two just by odds, but I, I expected a three or even a four. That was it a three? It looked like a three. I'm not too sure. I'm sure the multicast is working. Well, the weird part is it does say it affects the chain lightning with area, but maybe only because it's instant, but it can't really affect it. But it is it's like the best thing that we can take here. I will just take it. Maybe it does something. Who knows? Maybe now it can multi-strike when it jumps from enemy to enemy. Well, not multi-strike, but if, like, enemies are close to each other, it will hit both of them. Maybe area would have been the way to go. Uh, merciless, duration of intimidating shout is useless. Yeah, let's go for merciless. One thing that I'm wondering right now is, when I banish an upgrade of a weapon, does it also banish all the other weapon upgrades? Hmm, well, that would also banish all physicals, right? No, that's not what I would want. What I would want is, for example, an Intimidating Shout. I just don't want any upgrades for this anymore, as well as for the Shield Wall. <gasps> oh, um, okay, final boss, but I'm super low on HP, and I don't have a lot of movement speed right now because of the goddamn spiders. Ah, oh, spooders. Okay, let me get some more experience. There's healing over there. I think I will just head there to make sure that I get it. The boss has to chase me. And there we go. I got some healing. I would like to have both of them before I go in. Can these spiders please stop attacking me? But there we go. Where is the boss? Let's take on him. 212k? Yeah, that's manageable. If our weapon would attack more frequently, it would be a different story. But since it doesn't, yeah. Oh my god, there's a lot being shot at me. Ooh, I don't like that. Always have to make sure to keep a dash to go through the enemies. If there's an explosion guy like this one, you can just dash through him and nothing will happen to you. 160k is left. Um, it's, it's, it's okay. You know, he spawned at around 15 minutes. We are one minute in and we didn't really do anything. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, most of the buffs that I got were actually just for buffs, funny enough. So it doesn't really help too, too much. There's more crit, very good. 
Oh, uh, I have to be careful. 66 HP. Yeah, I will go to the healing here. Just one bounce to the healing, please. And there we go. Very nice. Like, all it takes is one strike of the spiders slowing me. And then it's suddenly more spiders and more spiders and more spiders and you can't move anymore. Come on, Mr. Boss. Show me what... No, don't show me what you can do, please. Like, I really wish there was a better way to just focus on single weapons. Like, I previously talked about a mode where you choose one weapon and that's the one that you start with. But I think it would also be great if then that weapon would have a way higher chance to get bonuses for it. You know, like in general. So all the other ones, if you take buffs there, they have a lower chance of appearing, but that weapon has a very high chance of getting upgrades. Almost 10 million damage? I would say that's very good, but sadly, we were just missing a lot of attack speed.